day three of the ITM Design Windows Jet Boat Marathon. We're standing here on the Waiau River. Now it's absolutely hardly a breath of wind here. The flag isn't even flying, but I'm telling you that 50, 60 k's up the river, it'll be blowing 60 mile an hour. It will be terrible. River will be starting to rise, so it's gonna be a real jet boater's day today. And it's a braided river again, but the rocks are bigger. They're not like the Wymat with a really, really fine shingle. These things, if you hit them, do a lot of damage to boats. Today would be extremely hard because of the wind, but I think I really underestimated the wind speed. I sort of said 70 to 80 mile an hour, I think it could have been 100. The dust storm was the real problem. The guys said they couldn't see 15 feet in front of them, driving at 60 or 70 mile an hour, slowing down. It was like driving in braille. Can you imagine a braided river and you've got no visibility? We had so much dust for quite a while there, we couldn't see where we were going and we sort of ended up way out to the left side of the river where we didn't want to be. So. Um, sort of imagining where a river goes, boating and blind was quite, quite entertaining, so yeah, no, we're, we're pretty lucky to be up here, so the jet boating gods were definitely on our side for this leg. Poor Roger, I'm yeah, pretty sure he's gone up the same channel we did. Got into a dust storm and, and it was blowing a gale. Every time we started rattling, we were just hoping that the water was going to, you know, get some water in front of us. But no, we ended up coming to a tree dead end. And you couldn't put any speed in at all. You just get lifted up and slam it into a bank. So we just take that right off. And the odd bit, you get a little bit of speed, but then another gust would come down around through the gorge and it would just kite you. Um, come right up. It was a pretty, pretty tough uh, leg up there, uh, the wind was really bad. And probably the sandstorms were the worst, so the wind was picking up and you just couldn't see, so uh, yeah, look, you got to race the conditions, but it was, it, was, it was really tough work for everybody, to be honest, no matter what boat you're in. So what they've done now is they've regrouped, come back down the river another sort of like 20 k's to relaunch below that dust storm area so they have a better run downstream. We're first away, we still had the lead so we sort of settled in quite early on and um, yeah, not far down the river we clipped a bar and had a, had a pretty big spin. A helicopter assistance to get us back into the water, so we're sort of out of overall now. So, yeah, got this NZ1 on this shirt for four more days, <laughs> then someone else is going to be lucky enough to get it. That would promote Ben Baxter, but he's, he too's had a spin. Yeah, from what I heard, he's able to chase John pretty hard down there, and I think he's had a pretty big spin up here as well. Uh, we sort of caught on the back of John, got on his wakes, seen his roost, didn't really know where to go, and uh, cut a big bar and ended up coming into the water backwards and near on sinking it. We're lucky enough we ended in some deep waters, only pushed for about a minute, got on the plane and it was just up from the finish line so limped home. Very lucky.